Hello, thanks for coming to my first video on making a multiplayer game using Normcore for the Oculus Quest 2. In this video, we're just going to cover the basic setup and how to get the XR rig connected to your headset, the one that's on my head. Now, this is going to be super easy. Um, I hope you enjoy. Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make a VR multiplayer app for the Oculus Quest, or how to set one up at the very least. To start, open Unity, go to your Installs folder, and click Add Modules. You're going to want to make sure you've got both of these ticked on your latest version on the installation of Unity that you have. After you've done that and installed them, go to Projects, click New, and create a new project. Call it whatever you want, like XR Setup for me, or a different name that exists, and wait for that to finish. Okay, now your Unity project is set up. We need to do some basic setup just to get things working. First of all, go to Edit Project Settings, then go to XR Plugin Management and click Install XR Plugin Management. Uh, once this is done, once it's finished compiling the script, we will click Oculus on here to make it work properly on our PC. And also, so if you wanted to use this with an Oculus Rift or any other device, it works there. And then we'll click on the Android tab as well and select Oculus as well. Then go into Package Manager and we'll click Enable Preview Packages. And the point of this is so that we can now go to um, Window, Package Manager, and then click oh, Enter the Unity Registry by clicking here. Type XR Interaction Toolkit, and just click Install on that. Once that's finished, you'll get this warning come up telling you that the project's using the new input system package and it's okay, just click yes on that and let it let it do its thing. And it will restart your editor. Now your editor's restarted. You'll see that it has this preview packages in use at the top. You can hide this if you want. It's fine, it doesn't do anything. And then what you're gonna to want to do is go to your main scene, right click, go to XR, click device based, and then go to XR rig and add it in. This will be the part of your project which connects to your XR system and allows people to interact with your environment. So as the problem is right now, your hands won't be tracked. But if you go into your left and right hand controllers, click Add Component and search Trapped Hose Driver in here and add that in. Going into Device, select Generic XR Controller and leave it as the left controller for the left hand. And then for right hand controller, do the do the same and set it to right controller instead. And right now, if you connect it to your scene, if you if you hit play on here and you had a headset connected, you'd already be able to start moving in VR and you'd see uh, two lines coming out of your hands, which is from this XRA interactor for now. Um, but we want to make this multiplayer. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up using norm core. So, as you can see on my web browser, Normcore is a uh, multiplayer system for Unity which has XR support built in out of the box. It's really good. So if you go to that site and you just click uh, sign in, you'll have to set up an account, but it just automatically logs me in. You can click here to download the latest version of Normcore. Now I've already got it downloaded, but um, as you can see, it just downloads right just downloads right there with no problem. And um, the next thing you're going to want to do is just go to create an application and create a new application, which we'll go back to in a second. So now we have Normcore downloaded. We will uh, grab it from our folder and install it into Unity. Um, you don't need all of this. All you really need is... Uh, this VR player one. So we're going to, we'll just turn all of them off and just re-enable the VR player and leave this on as well and just import that. 
and then open this up once it's finished. And uh, you'll get this, but don't worry about it. You can just ignore that. Open up examples, VR player, and then you want to grab this real time plus VR player prefab and drag it into your uh, environment. Now in here, from the app key, from the application you created earlier on the Normcore site, copy the app key you found and paste it in here. And then all you need to do to get it working is drag your XR rig into the root, your main camera into the head, your left hand controller into the left hand, your right hand controller into the right hand, and then so long as you've got your app key in here, um, you will be able to already have a multiplayer environment. So now you've put your app key into the real-time VR player, we can build this onto the Oculus Quest and you'll be able to test the multiplayer. But first we need to go into project settings, go into player and make sure that your minimum API level is set, I think at least to 24, but I always go with 26 just to be safe. And then if you go to file, build settings and you go to Android and click switch platform, you'll then be able to build this onto your Oculus Quest and be able to test it out. So once you've built it and you've got it running on your headset, if you and you and your and it's running on your headset right now, if you were to click play in your scene, you'd be able to see uh, by going to scene view the other player. And what's really cool about Normcore as you can see is I have whenever I talk, my mouth moves too. It's being the preset already has voice chat enabled. It's incredible. And even better, this is already multiplayer. This is on my headset, not connect connected to Unity. The head connected to Unity is below, as you can see. And um, we've already got multiplayer working super fast. And then you can do what you want with it. So now that's all set up, what we can do is really get things going with you can have um interactable objects which you can throw to each other you can have uh text which if one of you typed it in it would show up on the screen you could have color changing blocks where you can trigger it you could have a have a gun and you could shoot your friend which is always fun and um i'll be making videos on those as well so if you subscribe to me they'll show up and that'll be kind of cool you know see you then Bye.